Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. This is The Life of the Miner, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest ways you can get into GPU mining. So check this out. Okay, so let's get started. Now I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to mine Bitcoin using your gaming PC or of course if you have a nice graphics card in your computer. Now I'm going to be showing you the process from beginning to end. So basically what you want to do first is let's go ahead and Google search nice hash. Now when I first started mining I used nice hash and I do want to mention a lot of people still use nice hash. It's just it's very easy so let's go ahead and click on that first link and then what you want to do is well let's go ahead and hit no thanks up there but you want to go ahead and sell your computing power so you want to click on download now once you get to this page uh, it doesn't actually matter which one you download uh, now if you download the Nvidia one you want to download the nice hash miner legacy for advanced users uh, the reason why is it actually takes you to the same page. Let's go and download that. Now once you get to this page, you want to download the NHM Windows 1.9.0.4.zip file. Now if you go ahead and click on this, more than likely it may be blocked. Now if your <clears throat> web browser does block it, go ahead and click on downloads. And then once you click on up here, click on downloads, you'll get to this page and you want to keep the dangerous file and then click on keep anyway. And let's see what happens. So look, failed virus detected. Now if this happens, it's now because your windows uh, blocked it. So what you want to do is now if you have Cortana, the easiest way to get to your Windows Defender is just searching it. And if you don't have Cortana, it may be hidden. So you can right click, show Cortana icon, click on that. And just go ahead and type in Windows Defender. Now of course it will be right here. Now once you go here, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Once again, virus and threat protection settings. And then on real time protection, go ahead and turn this off. Go ahead and hit yes. And then now, go back here. Let's go ahead and download this one more time. It's going to give you this error once again. Like I mentioned, go back to downloads. Keep dangerous file. Keep anyway. Show folder. There you go. It's right there. Now what you want to do now is let's go ahead and create a new folder so you can unzip everything onto in here. Let's just call this nice hash. Now let's go ahead and exclude the virus protections from this folder as well. So Again, you want to go back to this Windows Defender setting option. Now, if you don't want, if you forgot how to get here, like I mentioned, just search Windows Defender from your Cortana, Virus and Threat Protection, Virus and Threat Protection settings. Scroll down to Exclusions, Add or Remove Exclusions. Let's go ahead and add this folder. The nice hash. Select this folder. Select Yes. And it'll go ahead and show right here. Now what you want to do is you want to unzip all this. Now what I do is just copy it and just paste it all in here. You can extract it all in here, same thing. Now of course once you have it in here, you will see this file nicehashminerlegacy.exe. So go ahead and double click this. Now if you get into this issue, Go ahead and click on more info. They'll go ahead and click on run anyway. Now go ahead and accept 
accept the terms of use. Go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead, I agree. It's going to go ahead and download the miners. Go ahead and wait for that. Just give it a minute or two. <clears throat> Now while it's downloading, let's go ahead and close a couple of these folders. Oh, and then you can actually turn this back on if you like, because we did exclude the file, so it won't be uh, deleted. So of course, now we did go ahead and download the miners. Now, of course, I'm located in the United States, so let's go ahead and hit USA. Now, we do need a Bitcoin address. So what you want to do is go back to NiceHash. Um, now, you can, of course, get a, a Bitcoin address on different sites as well. But uh, just for simplicity, let's just go back to NiceHash. Now, I did already log into my folder. And as you can see, this is my Bitcoin address. And of course, uh, if you don't know how to register, it's very easy. Uh, you want to go ahead and hit me log out. Hit register, put in your email, password, confirm password, I'm not a ro robot. Agree to terms and condition and then register. Then like I mentioned, go ahead and grab your wallet address, which I did right here. Let's go and paste that in here. Now, if you do have a nice CPU, which I do have, uh, now you can mine with it, but I don't like mining with my CPU because uh, my GPUs make more money. Now, of course, you, if you want to name your worker, you can go ahead and do so. Then go ahead and click on benchmark. Now, it's up to you which one you want to benchmark, but I just go ahead and choose standard. And now I'm not going to be mining on my CPU, so I don't check that. Now, of course, you can click on which one you want to mine or you can click on all of it and then it will actually mine which was which will be more profitable at the time uh, so let's go ahead and just click on everything for now just for simplicity and then of course now we do have to wait for this so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this okay so once you're done with the benchmark let's go ahead and close this out now as you can see I do have two NVIDIA Titan XP Collector's Edition uh, and if I go ahead and click on the start button there you go now you're mining Bitcoin but let's go ahead and stop this for now now I do want to mention you're not actually mining Bitcoin you're selling your hashing power and in return you're getting paid in Bitcoin um, that being said, that actually sums this up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and good luck with your mining adventures. Okay, so I hope you folks learned something. Now, I did want to mention, as of right now, I actually don't use NiceHash. Now, I use other mining programs because they are actually more profitable than NiceHash. Now I'll actually go over those in different videos, but of course, I hope you guys enjoyed, and always, happy mining.